It turned out to be a crime of opportunity. A Pontiac man gets sentenced and notices for just a moment there, there, is, there isn't anyone there to take him to jail, so he makes a run for it. Jason Colthorpe is live outside the courthouse in Rochester Hills where this case, uh, this chase, I should say, happened on Tuesday. Um, Jason, he decided he just wasn't going to jail today, I guess. Yeah, and when that happens, just in case, Kim, the sheriff's department likes to make sure there are a couple deputies there. But in this case, the judge felt telling this defendant after he'd been sentenced to go sit down in that chair over there and wait would be good enough. Nope. This Oakland County courtroom looks normal. There's a judge, a defendant, his attorney, but someone's missing, the court deputy. And this defendant was just sentenced to 90 days in jail. And as the deputy walked in the courtroom, the guy spotted the deputy and it was off to the races. Outside the courthouse, watch the right corner of your screen and there he goes. He bolts across the street and moments later, there's the deputy and a few more giving chase. The whole thing was over in 10 to 15 okay. minutes. Officers were able to catch up to him in a wooded area and put the cuffs on him, but Sheriff Mike Bouchard says this could have turned dangerous. Lots of times police officers get killed with their own weapon if they lose a fight. Those are the kind of concerns that we have. An unarmed person isn't the same thing as not dangerous. And there is a protocol here that police say this judge didn't follow to give them a heads up when someone is being sent to jail and deputies are needed. We asked the judges to do that, you know, but um, they run their own courtroom. So sometimes they do it before our deputy gets to the courtroom and that's typically when we've had problems. When you average it out and look at the math, you think it's pretty stupid because now you subjected yourself to more serious time in jail than what you are being sentenced on in the first place. Yeah, and you know, the only thing missing as you see him running down those stairs there is the Benny Hill theme, Yakety Sacks, right? Well, the sheriff's right, stupid, because instead of those 90 days in jail, this guy now is facing two to three times that with new charges of escaping custody and resisting an officer. In Rochester Hills tonight, Jason Colthorpe, Local 4.